so hello guys and welcome back so today we are continuing with our j advanced 100 day question series in this video so guys the question that you right now see on screen is actually from vishal tiwari sir's notes and i couldn't resist but pick this up because this question is a beautiful question okay very good question on you can say functions like little bit of very little bit of calculus is there but this question is purely based on functions so a really rare and good question okay so i had to pick this up so i hope you can see the question on screen right now and if you want you can try your hands out on this question as well maybe i will pause you can pause the video and try i will also pause for a few seconds and then start off solving this okay guys so i hope it's time for us to solve so guys right now you can like if i give a short reading to the question then you we are belonging to real numbers and i am sorry if you could hear anything in my background because right now it's heavily raining outside so maybe some thunder is going on maybe the sound can come okay so please ignore that anyways the logarithm of base 4 u plus 2v plus the log base 4 u minus 2v is equal to 1 where u plus 2v is greater than 0 and u is greater than 2v and f is a real function satisfying the following given conditions so we have a couple of conditions given so guys we need to find out the minimum value of mod u minus mod v so this question really looks impossible but we'll make it possible okay so starting off first thing is i will write down our very first log equation which is given and this is the log equation given to us okay this was u plus 2v i'm sorry and this is equal to 1 so very basic property of log when two things are added i mean two logs to the same base are added they get multiplied so basically this thing becomes u plus 2v into u minus 2v equals to 1 so very plain simple from here i can using base shifting like it will you know i hope you know what's base shifting here it will become u square minus 4v square equals to 4 power 1 so which is 4 okay so like this is not very sufficient to find out mod u minus mod v because right now i can see that my options are all in terms of f okay so we need to do something about that so guys like i hope you have understood everything till this and now you are supposed to look carefully okay so i will take a lot of variables right now i will take a b as equal to 4 and u as equal to a plus b by 2 and v as equal to b minus a by 4 like you will be wondering right now what happened but don't worry things will be pretty clear okay okay so at this particular point you might be very confused about this part so actually i have done nothing okay it's very simple see i jumped one step i will write that and you will pretty easily understand a b equals to 4 actually means i have taken a as your u minus 2 v and your b as u plus 2 v and then i expressed u and u and v in terms of a and b okay that's what i have actually written this will like help us to make the solution cleaner okay and shorter obviously so i hope no more confusions in this part so guys we need mod u minus mod v now one obvious question is modulus so because there is a modulus we need to consider two cases because see u is equal to a plus b by 2 and a b equals to 4 means either both are greater than 0 or both are less than 0 right for a and b now u is equal to a plus b by 2 so i hope we can only apply the constraints on v no need of u right so let's consider two sign changes for v in the first case like uh, let's say it's case number one i am considering that v is greater than equal to 0 so right now your u minus v if we evaluate this will be a plus b by 2 minus b minus a by 4 so this thing will actually become 3a plus b by 4 okay 
and like this is 3a plus p by 4 you can pretty well see so i will write this as 3a and let's take this in a single variable so ab is equal to 4 from here i am substituting small b as 4 by a whole divided by 4 okay so let's take this thing to be f of capital f of a one function where your small a is greater than 0 because your v is greater than equal to 0 so i guess small a will also be greater than 0 right anyways guys like yeah okay so actually i forgot to tell you one very important thing basically see because this u plus 2v and u minus 2v if you remember they were both arguments of a logarithm okay so if that is the case and i guess it was explicitly mentioned in the question also that your u is greater than 2v so if this is the case then actually your like both these have to be always greater than 0 okay i told maybe that i we are taking this we aren't taking this it is forced by the domain of the logarithm itself okay we are not bound to take small a less than 0 at any cost. So I hope this was clear. So guys, I am trying to find out, like we are searching for the minimum value of mod u minus mod v, right? So let's find out the minimum value from here. So this will be very easy, I guess, am greater than or equal to gm. So 3a plus 4 by a will be greater than or equal to. 2 root under 3a into 4 by a so this thing becomes greater than or equal to 4 root 3 so if you go a little downward then dividing this complete equation with 4 f of a becomes greater than or equal to root 3 so that's for your v greater than or equal to 0 but still we have another case left so in case number 2 where your v is less than 0 your mod u minus mod v i hope you can understand this thing is u okay this thing actually becomes u plus v right so u plus v will give you a plus b by 2 plus of b minus a by 4 so this thing will come out to be a plus 3 b by 4 so guys like it was that thing was 3a plus b by 4 and this thing is a plus 3b by 4 i guess both of them will actually yield to the same thing anyways let's check so if i take say like i can again write this function as a plus of a b is equal to 4 so b is 4 by a that means a plus 12 by a by 4 so let's take this function to be some capital g of a so actually from here you will get your this thing a plus 12 by a from am greater than or equal to gm this would come out to be i guess 2 root 12 by 4 so basically yes again the same thing if you divide with 4 actually g of a will again come to be greater than or equal to root 3 itself so for whatever case v less than 0 or v greater than or equal to 0 we deduce that the minimum value of mod u minus mod v will be equal to root 3 under any circumstances okay we have considered both the cases of greater than or equal to 0 and less than 0 guys i am once again sorry if you can hear any rumbling noise in my background because there's heavy rain going outside okay so guys i hope up till this was clear so question is not still over we are still supposed to find it out in terms of f so that's the main challenge so guys, if now we go on into the small f and stuff, some things were given that small f of 1 is equal to 1, small f of x plus 5 is greater than or equal to your f of x plus 5, and one more thing that f of x plus 1 is less than or equal to small f of x plus 1. Okay. So right now I am going to like, I guess here in this particular part, nothing will be much better. So guys, I am now going to do one thing. Just see. I will actually let g of x be equal to your f of x minus x. Okay. 
I hope you have understood this. And guys, one more thing, maybe I will later on upload this or post this somewhere. Like I remember this from one question we had done in this series only. That question was actually really simple. If you uh, remember, there was one question integral of dx by cube root f of x plus cube root f uh, cube root f of x plus square root f of x. Okay, you will see. I guess it was day three or four something. So guys, for that particular question, actually one like somebody in the comments had actually told me that this thing is not really valid and maybe alternative solutions can exist. So guys, like a pretty similar scenario can occur here also. So maybe it will be good to confirm that. So basically see, things thing is that in our J syllabus, we are restricted to certain rules. Okay. So this like beyond J, there is a lot of mathematics. I hope you guys know. So there is something called Mobius transformation. Okay. Mobius transformation and some other things which I will not maybe name because they will only clog your mind. So like some distinguished gentlemen had commented that we could actually use them. And for that alternative solutions will also come out for that question I had uploaded. Okay. So basically like that question was really specially designed because if you apply all those advanced things also, you won't ever get a solution except of that. I guess it was f of x equal to x except for that in that question, you will get no other solutions. Okay. I have myself checked using all those advanced stuff that he was saying, but see they are beyond J. Okay. These things are taught in BSc, MSc maths like in second, third year, and you are not at all supposed to know all this. So just don't go into all that. Okay. It's my advice. Like if you have interest in maths, you can go beyond, but not right now. Right now your focus should be on the exam. Okay. So I had tested well on that and there were no other alternative solutions. Maybe I will post that someday in my channel. So guys, like that was just a disclaimer and I don't know, maybe using those identities and transformation stuff there is something like that. I don't know whether any alternative solutions will come to this. Although we will not go to any exact solution, we will go to an inequality. But still, whether any alternative solutions exist or not is not in the scope of our syllabus. Okay, I am trying to stick to syllabus as much as I can. These can be solved using a hundred other methods. Many sums that I have done can be solved using a hundred other methods, but still. Anyways, guys, so I hope the stand was clear. I really talked a lot. So let's return to our sum. So guys, I have taken g of x as your f of x minus x. So your g of x plus 5 is equal to f of x plus 5 minus of your x plus 5, right? So if you actually see this expression and see uh, this thing, then you will actually note that this thing will be greater than or equal to f of x minus x. Now you will obviously ask me why. So if you actually bring f of x to the left hand side, you will get f of x plus 5 minus f of x is greater than equal to 5. And if you take x plus 5 to this side, f of x to this side in the inequality, you will actually get the same thing. Okay, really magical. Like the step was really magical because the same thing is getting derived. Okay. So like if I want to write in broad terms, G of X plus five will be actually greater than or equal to G of X, right? So like, yeah, this is clear. And one more thing in a very similar fashion, G of X plus one, if we write, this will be F of X plus one minus x plus one and this thing will be also greater than equal to i'm sorry not greater than equal to this will actually be less than equal to f of x minus x like you can say i am actually backtracking from these equations itself okay so what you will get from here is your g of x plus one this thing will be less than or equal to g of x now if you actually like see our inequality right here I can write this thing as like, this is a way more precise and way more 
tightly bound inequality but still if we write the overall it will actually come out to be g of x plus 1 less than or equal to your g of x less than or equal to g of x plus 5 okay so actually you can ignore this part if you the, this part you can completely ignore if you want because this thing is more precise for our consideration so if you actually take and put the natural numbers one by one what you will actually get is g of 6 is less than or equal to g of 5 is less than or equal to g of 4 is less than or equal to g of 3 is less than or equal to g of 2 is less than or equal to g of 1 and this thing is equal to 0 right because i hope this thing was given like f of 1 is equal to 1 so from our f of x minus x it becomes 0 so like if we consider our very borderline condition because we are trying to derive a minimum value for mod u minus mod v so for that actually f of n becomes equal to n for the borderline condition at least okay and here n belongs to all integers so guys we have already found out something that mod u minus mod v the minimum value for mod u minus mod v is actually root 3 so now we know that f of n is equal to n so actually if we test that in all the options we will automatically get out our answer right so guys I know the correct answer but still I will tell you what in all the options will come if you evaluate option number B you will actually get 1 by root 3 if you evaluate option number C this is B I'm sorry if you evaluate option number C you will get root 2 and if you evaluate option number D you will get root 2 once again so only correct answer will actually be option number A where it was given root under f of 10 minus 7 so very clearly this will be root 10 minus 7 equal to root 3 so guys our correct option for this particular question will be the option number a okay so that's the end for this question guys i hope you have liked the question this was a really beautiful question okay like you saw there was i guess barely no calculus actually maybe in the beginning of the question i said there would be some calculus actually no calculus at all we did this purely using algebra, purely using functions and stuff, like no calculus at all, okay? So guys, like I would give this question a rating of 15 out of 10. This is a really good question, okay? So if you could solve this, like clapping for you and if you couldn't, then maybe you should work on your functions more because this was actually, I know it is difficult, but with perspective to J advanced, you should have solved this, okay? Anyways, that's it for today, guys. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked my channel, do like, share and subscribe. Any recommendations, doubts, anything, do come out in the comment section. And also do join my Telegram discussion chat because I am trying to discuss a lot of things there and uploading daily, okay? Anyways, that's it for today, guys. And this is the end for this video. And thanks for watching.